all that in there. A little bit of old lift off oversteer, I think. Haha, <laughs> I'm going to stand up in that corner. Right, Chris is going to release some stress, he's going to get the fucking van some shit around the track. I'm letting the field car blow some steam, she's a bit warm. What? Oh, you got a radio in there, oh yeah. Look at Chris's redneck radio mount. I don't know if you can see that. You've got to see. Chris is going to Right, turn the music off, Chris, so YouTube doesn't like tuning. Right, this could be interesting. Chris is driving. So I'm um, not at its driest. You do have to be careful. There's a few places where um, usually it goes round corners, but today it's going straight on. <laughs> and there's bloody trees everywhere down here. Listen to that uh, 1800 straight rip. <laughs> where well, the hell was he off to? Right in the bloody track. We've lost both rear shocks now, so it's a little bouncy. Yeah, racking and clanking, you can hear it's just a load of crap that's in the back of a van that we can't be asked to take out. I think uh, this bit of dry weather has given us inspiration to fix the XT so we can get two um, actually quick vehicles here rather than one quick one and one horrendously slow one. Still fun though. Here he comes. I don't know if I should be sat here, but. Okay, he's in the fucking edge. <laughs> Poor tree. I'm going to come through here, but I think Chris has a bit of understeer issue, so he takes it around this way in the van. He loses a lot of speed though. It's a lot more fun coming straight down through here. Straight run up through. Oh, he's got his lights on. Making her steady. There's my old girl cooling down. Oh shit. That's better. She's right for a sort of 10 minutes of hard dragging, but um, you can't get enough flow through the radiator to keep it cool. This is a bit of a pain. She's right after she's cooled cool down a bit. Nice one, Chris! <laughs> I almost stood it. Now, can I stand here or am I going to get ran over? Should be alright, I reckon. Fucked it up again, but still. Oh, he's stopping. Can't be good. You bit in the bottom, I reckon I could handbrake turn all the way around this corner. Down there? Alright. I've had a few practices, she's slewed around every time. How, how is the temperature? Let me guess, the fan hasn't even kicked in yet. No, um, if we have a look at the dash a minute. As you can see, oh, you probably can't see. She's on normal. No, the lights don't work on this thing. Oh. Typical Escort, 800 straight, Hang never on. gets hot. Hang on, I'll take a picture. That's typical, this thing very rarely gets hot. Um, I think yesterday we managed to have the fan kick in once. The fan on this one is still wired into the actual stats, so it comes on and off when it's meant to. 
very rarely does it come on. It's hot to touch, but not boiling. It just doesn't have a turbo, so it doesn't run anything like the hot. Anyway, I'm going to go down the bottom because apparently Chris has nailed the corner yeah, now. Right, you can't be asked to walk. Oh. Apparently, Chris has managed to nail the uh, hairpin in the van. See, the problem with this corner in the field car is that you've got fucking diff lock, the gearbox lever, the ring's broken on it. So you come down this straight and you're trying to get it in first, you're trying to get it in full lock and you're trying to get the handbrake up through the floor all at the same time and the steering is heavier than hell because of the diff lock. Whereas the van, you can anchor it in, the steering's easier and the handbrake works. Um, not too bad, we almost took out some triage. Camera doesn't really pick it up, it's getting a bit dark here now. See, this is the problem, you see. Fucking old daylight hours again, minimal. So you haven't got much time these days. We've only been out here half an hour and it's getting dark. Right, let's try it again. Let's hope we don't get understeer out, so I'm screwed. 